Let's go across to our guest joining us. Mahima Singh of the Congress Party will be with us in just a bit. Ellen Rao is former DCP special cell, Delhi Police. Colonel Rohit Dev is a security expert and Tushar Gupta, a senior editor, Swaraj Magazine is also with us. Colonel Rohit Dev, you know, this is a very serious matter and it is bringing back memories of the 2001 attack. You know, what everybody is asking and naturally is that it's 22 years since that attack and the Indian Parliament or our security apparatus has certainly become much wiser and stronger. And yet, two individuals managed to sneak in these canisters. This could have been a catastrophic attack. Yes, I, I appreciate the concern which we as a nation carry today. And it's a, you know, sort of a blot on our security apparatus as well. Mm. I, I will not miss my words there. Having said that, compliments to the parliamentarians who actually uh, were there to, mm. to pin down those two people as well. Having said that, the breach can happen in two or three probabilities. Mm. Uh, a, a canister of this nature is not today a technology governed to have no metallic uh, substance encasing it. So if it had a metal encasing and which was visible in some of the uh, you know uh, media personnel who, were who got hold of one of those canisters, mm. that means that they would have gone in the, if the same canister was used in the parliament. Then how did it penetrate through the metal detectors? It is not possible. And, and if, if it is possible, it is only possible due to connivances of people involved. Somebody may have let them go, which is unlikely. Which brings me to the larger question that there needs to be a detailed probe of this entire uh, system right from when these two people entered the first entry gate till they got on to the, to, to the visitors uh, you know, uh, bench there on the top there. There were not many visitors today as we saw on, on your channel as well. So I think uh, we need to know that from where and at what point of entry mm. or during their movement in the parliament did they get the position of these canisters. Uh, that, that, that are the two probabilities I'm talking about. A, that they came in with the canister and the security was a little lax and, mm. and, and I'm, I'm quite sure the detectors pick up. You go to the airport, they have a, a, even, even the door detector which is normal, which is not the full frame, mm. also picks up your uh, knees and your ankles and your, and, your, and your upper torso in terms of the metal content. But and could it be possible that these canister, canisters uh, did not have yes. metal in them? It is possible depending on technology, but the one I saw with a few TV uh, yes. you know, personnel uh, in the in the lawns outside somewhere, I think that was metallic in nature. It was getting crushed uh, by that margin and you could see the texture of the metal there. Yeah. Second is, uh, India cannot be lax anymore in any form in security, whether it's parliament, government institutions, mm. or you know, ordnance factories, defense installations. Uh, and this culture of somebody has signed and your mantri ka admi hai, santri ka admi hai, has to go. Right from the president of India, probably you know can be pardoned because she has got her own security operators today, hmm. which which is which is more empowering as she's head of the state. Rest every MP should also hmm. go through the same system. You do not know which MP will carry what in their bags to make us look dirty tomorrow in front of the uh, world. I, I, I'm quite certain we have this class of people today that we have to be very, very, very careful from okay. that angle as well. Okay, uh, Ellen so, Rao, so, so. former DCP special cell, Delhi Police is also joining us. I do want to understand from him, while the Delhi Police is not the only agency that is responsible for security of parliament inside and outside, there are multiple agencies involved. This is a massive breach because if somebody can smuggle in a canister, which uh, it is expected to be of metal, then what else can be smuggled in? How do you look at first up? at the security breach that has happened, your first thoughts of how something like this can even take place, Mr. Rao. Mr. Rao. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is really a very serious security breach, uh, which has been noticed by all our uh, Indian people. Hmm. And uh, definitely it's the uh, same for our uh, country all over the world. But as you said that, uh, who is responsible? That is uh, the matter which is uh, being probed by that time. But I must No, I'm not I asking you who's responsible. Three, I'm saying as a police personnel, Delhi, what, is your, Delhi, what is your sense? How could something like this happen? Uh, is it that this man, these people were not properly fist? So it was human error and laxity? Or is it that uh, the technology failed us? What is your sense? It, it is both. It, it is, is both. both. Because the searching and fisking is done by the person who are sitting there. Two persons are searching one person they are in their system hmm. and the security is of three layer and maybe the equipment which that which are installed there to uh, 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 to, uh, to search uh, to find out these, these uh, objects and items hmm. but this uh, canister might not have been uh, detected by that uh, uh, equipment so it may be the both uh, the tech, um, equipment failure as well as human failure 
Okay. I, I must tell you, Delhi police responsibility of security is outside the boundary wall of security uh, that parliament. Right. Inside the, the inside the parliament, security itself is there, and then uh, CRPF people are with the uh, uh, to assist all these things. So there are three type, three layer of security. No, uh, no, nobody can uh, challenge that, that 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 three layer, but it is it has been done. That's why the probe is very important to find out. What but was the motive? How Mr. Rao, into that? Mr. Rao, would it be fair to say that let's say if somebody comes into parliament with a visitor's pass, that pass is generally given on behest, at the behest of an MP, that security personnel could be a little bit lax. That they wouldn't imagine no. that somebody who's acquired a pass from signed from a, you know re received at least from the office of an MP could not be a suspect. Does it sound more like human error to you that they, these people were just not frisked properly? De definitely, it, it it may be possible because the security person who are searching and frisking and looking at the passes, they are also at least a human being. They might be thinking that that, that person has been recommended by some particular MP that they are not so much serious about his uh, his uh, identity or the yeah. searching frisking may be slack in that uh, point. The, so yes. that the, the MPs who are giving MPs who are giving such type of passes, they must be very sure that the person who is uh, being given the so, such passes. But that's not something they can do, Mr. Rao. With due respect, the MPs application. cannot really do any background uh, checking of who they give a pass to. The ultimate responsibility is with the security personnel, both inside and outside Parliament. Mr. Rao, no, that the... I agree. That I agree, yes. man. But but as you ask me that that the person is a human error also. Human error means yeah. that the person of the security person may might have think and that that it has been recommended by MP that he they might not could be have very been lax, But we him. don't know if that so is the case. He, it could also be that technology failed on both but, counts. But it looks there should terrible. not be there should not be any any laxity on the part of yeah. security. Yeah. Like Colonel Dave, you wanted to come in very quickly be before yes, I go across to Tushar Gupta as well. So 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 let me tell you, I have been into Parliament a few times. Irrespective of who signs your uh, permission, there are even metadata are also in more than three layers till you finally enter that uh, parliament. So all machines do not fail. Hmm. It's not an error of the MP per se because MP will give and after that what you do is your problem. But the security is never lapsed. I as a veteran have entered with the same kind of kit I'm wearing today. I have gotten familiar with a couple of guards while walking because that's my nature as a military man. But each time I have gone, they have frisked me like any other citizen. So, so it's not to say that there's a laxity. It it can happen with one in the chain. It cannot happen with all in the chain. So all right. the you know replenishment logistics of the parliament, the caterers, everybody else, everything needs to be reassessed in how you are doing it in the new parliament. I appreciate it's a new parliament. Things are new. Your movement of people, vehicles, logistic uh, echelons, your parliamentarians itself is a little different. But I don't think so. In today's age, the equipment is failing you if the equipment fails you they always deploy dual uh, you know uh, checks on you if the equipment is as physically failed yeah, to yeah. check you physically so okay. it happens in airports i'm quite sure it happens in the parliament as well